In this quick little video, I'm going to show you how to get a radial menu inside of uh, OneNote. Now, OneNote's made a couple different changes. We're going to talk about just a few of those that make handwriting and speech to text a lot more functional. Uh, the first thing that we're going to look at is this radial menu. So here you can see I'm switching between tools. So in order to get this radio menu set up, what you want to do is you want to go to the Microsoft Store. Search for Tablet Pro. And here you can see the Tablet Pro Studio app. That's this one right here. Tablet Pro Studio, install this. It'll take just a minute or two. It'll install the second app, Touch, through the Microsoft Store. And then what you're going to do is you're going to see uh, right down here, you'll see that the studio icon is hidden in here. You want to drag it down here to make it easy. Just click on that once. It'll open this up. You're going to scroll down here on the left to OneNote. You can double click it. It'll open up this touch panel, which will give you keyboard shortcuts. Uh, you can also make sure here barrel set to radio menu B or A and invert set to radio menu B or A. If you want to customize what that does, click on customize. If you select any of the items here, let's say you want this to click a certain spot on the screen. Let's close this for now. Then you would just take this, you drag it to where you want it to click and then click on update to radio menu. Now, if I click on this icon, it'll click on the green. All right, to edit, you just click on, press the side button, click on the gear icon, uh, or a little shortcut, press and hold the button, and then tap on the radio menu. All right, so here we have this. We're gonna make this do our hotkey again. So it's gonna be Control plus Z, and then we're gonna update. There you have it. That's how you get a radio menu set up inside of OneNote. If you want to learn how to adjust those buttons more, you click on Beginner over here. There's a handful of, of tutorials that will help you get started in understanding uh, how to do that, uh, what all the different functions are, like Do Not Hold, Single Use, uh, panel toggle, keystroke, repeater, these different things are very useful. So watch those tutorials to learn that. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.